welcome back to our playthrough of Drama Team in chronological order and in the fact that each and every section is split into its own parts so you can have a lot of episodes but some of them are going to be really, really short. As we left off last time, we are going to head back over to Gabriel's section to do his first chapter, um, which should take at least a good amount of time. This will be like the first chapter that takes a nice chunk of time, but we're going to do Signs of English. Thank you all for joining me, and let's get into this. So, so you're not going to skip the opening sequence, and I will put that in full. Gabe, I'm coming in. Uh, please excuse us, Doctor. Walking dirt, Elf. This thing's heavy. What's going on? Emma, does this walk No one told here? me I'm getting a roommate. Hey, Ta-da! Isn't it amazing? The red one goes over there. Let me introduce you to your new <laughs> partner, the Roni system. Isha, my office isn't a storage room. This baby's built to help diagnosticians like you. I think she's more meant to be a pain in the neck. It sorts and reviews records. It also has a disease database. Amazing. I'm sure even NASA would be impressed. So if we're sued, the records are here. Thanks for the trust. Gabe, just try it out. I I'm sure you'll like it. What world would I right. like a system to I'm sure. what to do? If you ask me, this thing's just... Good morning, Dr. Cunningham. And it talks! <laughs> uh, for the love of God! This thing talks? I'm sure you'll get along just fine. I'll leave you two alone. Later! you sorry for the intrusion, Doctor. Hey, don't Emma, don't you should have alone with this Isha! Please don't leave me alone with this thing. Ugh, great. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Condition identified. Deep sighing. A possible sign of cardiac neurosis caused by fatigue. Honey, it's not. Recommend ingestion of beta blockers or tranquilizers. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks for the tip. Look, I got a favor to ask. You know, since you're so smart. Yes, Doctor. What is your request? Just don't talk anymore unless I ask you to, okay? Just sit there like a rock. You got it? Yes, Doctor. <laughs> but my composition is 82% petroleum <laughs> processed materials. With my 10% oh minimum base, really well. I cannot be a very convincing rock. Oh, looks like I got company. Hold on one sec. Moe got ready for the day. So, how do I use you? Very good question, Doctor. Examine the patient and enter in all observed conditions. Okay. And then I will calculate the most probable disease currently. Hey, just one step at a time here, buddy. Not a robot. Correct. There is a 90% probability that you are human. Excuse me, wh wh where's that other 10%? You can get back to me on that 10% some other time. Love you, Gabe. Now, let's start the diagnosis. Your mind is the ultimate tool. Um, hello. Um, I... Hey, no need to be nervous. Just relax. Oh, okay. Well then. Are you ready, Miss Super Robot? Yes, Doctor. But I am not a super robot. I am a diagnostics assistance terminal. Whatever. Just stop talking. And let's start the consultation. Starting exam. What's your options? Now, let's see what you've got to say. Why'd you come to the hospital? Oh, yes. School choir. There's an important competition coming up soon. But 
and my throat feels all weird for some reason. Um, it's kind of hard to inhale, and I can't really catch my breath between notes. Actually, I had to take the day off from school yesterday, too. I was getting short of breath just sitting still, and my heart would start pounding. I'm gonna let them, like, say all of their questions before I go through and pick all of them that I need to. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Thinking about this is a little depressing. Oh, but there's something good that's happened. I've never been able to stick to a diet before. But lately, I've been able to lose weight no matter what I eat. Um, yikes, what am I talking about? Anyway, that's it. Doctor, am I sick with something? Obviously! I got the feeling there's still some information which she's saying that I haven't picked up on. Yes, Doctor, the patient herself may be unaware of the symptoms she's exhibiting. I recommend that you discover the symptoms through objective observation. I know that already, oh well. Yes, I should listen to what she has to say again. Obviously, I didn't click on anything. I just let her there's talk. There's button. My throat feels all weird. Um, it. I'm not wrong. Shut up, Brony. So she's having trouble breathing. It's a light case of dyspnea. Brony, can you record the patient's symptom? Yes, Doctor. <laughs> Congratulations. You received the symptom dyspnea. What the? Do you need to say it like that? You make it sound like we're playing a video game or something. That is my default syntax and inflection for new record entries. Will it affect the diagnosis? Absolutely. I have a variety of templates in my database if you would prefer another. Change it. Please. This isn't a game, you know. What were they thinking when they put you together? Understood, Doctor. Changing my expression at the end of the sentence and confirming it. New symptom observed. Dyspnea. Uh, oh, that'll do. About as close to normal as you're gonna get. Yay! Actually, I had to take the day off from school yesterday, too. I was getting short of breath just sitting still, and my heart would start pounding. Hmm. So you've got palpitations and shortness of breath, even while resting? What about now? Are you still experiencing these symptoms? Yes, I've been feeling like this since yesterday. I see. I'll need to auscultate you later on. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. Thinking about this is a little depressing. I would bet. Oh, but there's something good that's happened. I've never been able to stick to a diet before. But lately, I've been able to lose weight, no matter what I eat. Lost weight? Well, she seems rather happy about it. But losing weight without doing anything isn't normal. We should add that to the list. Yes. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Decrease in weight. Um, yeah, doctor. All right, that should do it. There's no need for further consultation. Excuse him, what? Yes, there is. Shut the Doctor, hell up. Please continue with the auscultation. Signs of palpitations and shortness of breath can be detected by the patient's speech. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, it sounds like you're the one giving me orders. Doctor, the auscultation exam is now available. Well, I'm going to do so. Oh, I can't even, like, do a All right, I'm going to take a listen. Could you lift up your clothing for me? Oh, uh, okay. Um, this is a little embarrassing. Oh, Doctor, God. Please express more consideration when examining patients of the opposite gender. Oh, shut up, Roni! The social and legal intricacies of such interactions call for greater care to avoid unnecessary risks. Hey, now. I'm just using a stethoscope. How else you expect me to examine her? Yeah, oh, how else? Uh, I'll be all right. Oh, look. You just made this whole deal even more <laughs> awkward for her.
Patient's breathing pretty rapidly. No shit, Sherlock. Roni, make a note of it. Yes, Doctor. New symptom observed. Increased breathing. rate is elevated. Roni, record that symptom. Yes, doctor. New symptom observed. Increased heart rate. Huh? The more I examine the patient, the more incongruities I'm finding. Obviously, that should be how this works, hon. Let's see. Time to check them out with a visual exam. Finally. I know what to do. Shut up. Her fingers are pristine. When I was a kid, my hands were always healthy. Yes, they're shaking. Her hands are trembling. That's not a good sign. No shit, Sherlock! Roni. Make a note. Yes, doctor. New symptom observed. Trembling fingertips. That's a neck great worthy of the word graceful. There's like little marks on it. Hmm. There appears to be swelling on her neck. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry, but I need to touch it just a little. Oh, yes. Please do so. I see. Does this hurt? It does hurt a little. Well, I think we should do a CT scan. Roni, make arrangements for image analysis. Yes, Doctor. I am initiating the approval process. This isn't about initiating an approval process, Roni. It's get the job done ASAP, damn it! Please designate a date for this procedure and list any other pertinent details. What? Huh? It's for today! Immediately, right now! Capiche? There's gotta be an open slot for her. Yes. Doctor, are you aware of hospital regulations? Shut up, Roni! No one ever got better by following regulations. Now hurry up and do it! Yes, Doctor. Request sent. New symptom observed. Swollen neck. Well, that's all the obvious symptoms. Let's end the exam for now. Thank you very much. Don't thank me just yet. The exam isn't over. You may have to come back here depending on the results, okay? Oh, yes, of course. I'll do just that. Now, time to leave the exam room. I'll just come back if I need to. to provide you with instructions on hospital protocol. God damn it, Roni, shut up. Please return to your office if you wish to perform a diagnosis or record your progress. Okay. Also, the preparations for the CT examination you requested earlier have been made. Please proceed to the image analysis lab if you wish to check the results of the I exam. I want to check the results, Roni. I'm not an intern, Roni. I know how this hospital works. <laughs> for doctors to confirm and review images of their patients. Thank God. The CT's ready, right? Well, let's check it out. Roni, bring up the patient's images. Yes, Doctor. Now opening the image files. I would like to explain the details of this exam. I don't want you to. CT exam is short for computer tomography. All right, Roni. An X-ray is applied to the human body, and tomographic images can be taken of the affected areas. 
You know I went to med school, right? <laughs> and not online classes or something. I'm an actual doctor. I'm aware of your credentials. This explanation is written into my default settings. Is it supposed to be for me, Roni? Is that so? Well, it's a good thing they didn't program you with anything useful, huh? one at a time. of her thyroid gland is swollen. This will help with the diagnosis. I should go back to my room and sort out all these symptoms. New symptom observed. Swollen thyroid gland. Thanks, Roni. I guess I found all the clues I need. Are you coming back here now? Indeed, Doctor. Please return to your office and proceed with the diagnosis. I'm going! I'm going! Well then, time to narrow down our candidates from these symptoms. I know how this works, Goddamn! Show me the likely conditions from the symptoms we found. Yes, Doctor. Now displaying all potential diagnosis candidates. seem applicable to this candidate. It is possible there may be more candidates which match the patient's symptoms. I advise checking the symptoms against other candidates as well. Did I say I was finished with my diagnosis? I was about to do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. patient's got a thyroid problem. Crony, let's move on to the definitive diagnosis. Get approval for the necessary exams. Yes, please, Brony. Yes, yes, he's on. Would you like me to submit immediately for the date and time? Yes, please. God darn it, Roni. Immediately should always be the answer. Yep. You catch on fast. God, she does. I'm sending the request now. An MRI exam, a scintigraphy exam, and an analysis exam are now available. Now we need something more concrete for our diagnosis. Let's get started. 
possibly the additional exams will be of use. I hope so too. Cunningham, I have more information for you. What? Please head to the examination room to perform analysis exams. Okay. Also, the preparations for the MRI and scintigraphy exams you requested earlier have been made. Please proceed to the image analysis lab to check these results. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I do know my way around my own workplace, Roni. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. I don't know if it's the next day yet or if you just came in a couple hours later. Um, what did the test results say? Well, we're still narrowing it down, but it's most likely a thyroid gland disease. Thyroid gland? Uh, um, I'm going to be able to sing again, right? If, if I ever lost my voice. Calm down. I know you're worried, but I'm not finished diagnosing you yet. Yes. Just hang in there until the final results are in. That's true. I'm sorry. Roni, how about it? Is the analysis exam done? Yes, please. Let me have the analysis exam. Yes, Doctor. Would you like to look at the file? Of course. Why bother with an exam if we don't look at the results? Bring it up. Come on. Bring it up. Understood. Opening the file. Well then, let's go in order and compare the patient's values with the standard values. seems a little high. Roni, make a record of this. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High FT3 level. Immune serum. <laughs> I mean, I read this. Well, I knew what I was It isn't by much. The FT4 level is a bit higher than the standard range. Roni, record that for me. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High FT4 level. Thank you, Roni. All right, and then this one. Who should be the layout? Her TSH value seems rather low. Rather Roni, low? Please record that. Rather low? That's not a rather low. That's a very microscopic low. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Low TSH level. I go into the imagery room. Preparations for the scintigraphy and MRI exams have been completed. I don't really think I use the MRI Perfect. on this one. Let's get right to it then. Allow me to provide information about the exams that are now available. Uh, shut up! Uh, whatever. I don't have the energy to even try and stop you anymore. Sure, I'm with him. Antiquity is an exam where the accumulation and distribution of radioisotopes are made into images. By confirming the uptake of isotopes, the condition of tumors and organs can be analyzed. Next, the Magnetic Resonance Imaging Exam, or MRI exam. It uses magnetism to take cross-section images of the human body. Thank you, Roni. It is similar to a CT scan, but there is no exposure to radiation. All right, point. Because MRI exams can yield more detailed images, they are generally used for foci in the head. God. You're just a walking encyclopedia of things I already know, huh? <laughs> yes, yes she is, Gabe. I thought you would have picked up on that already. I know the guy goes Obviously, look at look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Hmm. The uptake of radioactive iodine is concentrated in several areas of the thyroid gland. Roni, make a record of this. Obviously, make a record of it. Understood, doctor. New symptom observed. Abnormal thyroid. Uptake. 
Well, that about does it here. Let's go back to my office and continue the diagnosis. She even gave notes. We did an MRI for no reason. Well, that about does it here. Let's go back to my office and continue the diagnosis. You didn't have to repeat your sentence. It's official. The patient is suffering from plumber's disease. Roni, contact the orthopedics department. We need to put a chart together and request surgery. And obviously we'll be doing this surgery very soon. We just have to do Tomoe surgery first. Understood, doctor. That was I'll process the rest from here. Well done. Diagnosis. All that's left is to tell the patient. I'm glad she doesn't have something that's too serious. Obviously, this is episode one. Why would we have something too serious in the first episode? And so, it's just a simple orthopedic procedure. And... and I'll be completely cured? Huh? Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you so much! Come on in! You again. What do you want now? My, how rude! I am the chief, after all. It's my job to watch over everyone in this ward. All right, just get to the point. What do you want? <sighs> Would it kill you to be civilized? I just got word from Tomoe. Joshua's operation went well. I see. That's why it happens in you're not going to go see him then? The operation's over. Why would they need another doctor? Oh, Joshua. That's not what I mean. What I'm trying to say is... Yeah, yeah. What else is on your mind? Here. An invitation? You want me to go to a medical conference? That's <laughs> a good one. With an after party. And it's in Japan! Honey, it's why being catered you... by an Italian chef. Oh, <laughs> I can hardly tear it right. up, hard. Mm. Look at her face! Hey, what was that for? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have time for pointless things. If conferences saved lives, I'd be the first one in line. Okay. Oh, by the way, can you take this to Hank? Surgery instructions? Yes, surgery Gabe, instructions. I'm the chief, not your personal carrier pigeon. Hey, you said it's your duty to watch over the ward. Yeah, it's so your duty to watch over the rest of the ward, huh? Oh, fine then. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Poor baby boy. Everybody, Tomoe's chapter will be next. Obviously, look at that. It took us half an hour to get through Gabriel's. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Trauma Team. This, as well as probably every episode before this, should have been released on the same day. So I hope you had a nice, good 40 minutes of content. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everybody.